<clears throat> okay. Let's see. I think that we're good. Let's see, the audio looks okay. Hi guys, good morning. Whew. Good, good morning. Actually, it's not that good of a morning. Um, I'm kind of a mess this morning, so hopefully this uh, stream isn't me constantly going in and out. Um, I'm kind of a mess right now. Hopefully that'll be okay. Hopefully we won't have too many problems with that. <clears throat> but I put it out there first thing in the stream, so everybody knows. Um, other than that, it's, I think it's a pretty good day. Uh, let's see. So we're going to do uh, Silent Line today. We're going to start it up here. Um, whew. Man, I'm fucking dying. Um, we should not have any problems with, like, the first half of this. In fact, I'm fairly certain we're going to steamroll this uh, for a long time, uh, which is cool, I guess. Um, uh, the reason I say that is because, um, basically the way this works is, um, the, uh, all the stuff we did in, uh, there we go. Just had to get my setup right. All the stuff we did in Armored Core 3 carries over to, uh, Silent Line here. So all the OP Intensify stuff, all the parts we have all the money we have, um, pretty much, excuse me, everything except our Raven rank um, is going to end up carrying over here. Uh, so we'll pretty much have uh, three endgame armored cores right at the beginning, um, which means we'll have no, we should have no problems with the, uh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? We'll have no problems with the arena. We shouldn't have any problems with the missions. Um, obviously, this is a blind uh, playthrough. I've never touched this one before. I think I might have... I know I touched three. I played Armored Core 2. Um, this... <clears throat> this is all new territory to me. So hopefully, the chat will be uh, interested in hanging out and uh, giving us some tips and whatnot. Either way, I think it's going to be fun. Um, I checked it out. I spent about 20 minutes checking it out the other day before finishing up Armored Core 3. Um, and there is some really cool, good stuff in this game um, that I feel... I don't I wouldn't say it was missing from the other games, but it's definitely there are a lot of quality of life improvements. Um, there's also a cockpit mode, which is kind of a fucking nightmare because it's a muzzle flashy fucking mess. Um, but I'll still show off a few uh, words that I can't think of. I'll still show off a few maybe missions in uh, cockpit mode. It's uh, really interesting. All right, let's convert our Armored Core 3 data. Hey, Smug Wendy, let's go for it. Load complete. Um, I didn't do any other cleaning up or anything after that last Armored Core stream, so what you guys saw is what you get. An underground refuge that became humanity's last chance for survival after prolonged national blah, blah, blah. Those who... Lived there, did it under the impressive corporate, uh, oppressive corporate conglomerates, blah, blah, blah. This arrangement continued for centuries. For centuries, they were living underground. And as time passed, the residents of Layered grew ever more complacent. Not everyone brought into this existence. Not everyone bought into this existence, and it wasn't long ago that an individual took matters into their own hands. This person fucked everything up. 
A new age began that day, and humans were once again able to return to the planet's surface, now healed of the wounds it had suffered. At the same time that humans were freed from their self-imposed exile, so too were the corporations freed from the shackles that bound them to the controller. With nothing to stand in their way, the corporations immediately commenced plans to redevelop the planet's surface. The present, surface redevelopment plans are well underway, but a recent string of unexplained events has slowed progress. Attempts have been made to investigate further, but the region where the occurrences took place appears to be impassable. Corporate, con corporate conflicts over such things as land and mineral rights are becoming increasingly common, and the suspicions raised by recent events are adding fuel to an already volatile situation. As always, corporate disputes are settled with the aid of an impartial third party, a raven. With the situation on the, on the surface steadily escalating out of control, can we are ever be hoped to be a lasting peace? All that has been recovered is on the brink of being lost yet again. Well, that sucks. Right, cool, we've got new mail. I'm going to read those really quick, and then I'm going to double-check something. This message is to inform you that your registration with Global Cortex is now complete. Welcome to the team, Raven. On the off chance that it is not mentioned during the initial screening process, please allow me to briefly highlight a few aspects of exactly what it is Global Cortex does. Our firm specializes in dispute resolution, the majority of which re relates to corporate rivalry. We help fund and supply mercenaries such as yourself, and for a hefty fee, offer our clients access to this stable of mediators. So I'm a mediator. As far as the Raven-Client relationship is concerned, that is something we allow both parties to settle on by themselves. We do not force requests upon pilots, nor do we tell clients which pilots they have to employ. This hands-off approach also extends to issues that may arise between a client and yourself. For all intensive purposes, Global Cortex's responsibilities ends once you are locked into a mission contract. Services we do offer to those in our employ include AC repairs, access to part upgrades and ammunition stores, as well as limited mission update support. Uh, costs are associated with most of these, so keep track of your credits. Yep. Now, Emma Sears. Hello, Raven. My name is Emma Sears. I've been appointed as your Global Cortex agent. If it's all right with you, I'd like to get right down to business, shall we? Redevelopment of the planet's surface began shortly after the controller was destroyed. The only real problems early on had to do with corporate squabbling, but a new threat has presented itself more recently. The source of this threat is believed to lie somewhere in the vast expanse known as the Silent Line, a region that remains largely unexplored. The corporations are eager to begin developing this region, but have temporarily shelved their exploration plans until more is known about the recent attacks on nearby facilities. This delay probably won't last very long, though. They'll make their move once the urge to capitalize on the region grows too hard to resist. <laughs> Expect to see your area of operations expand in the near future. Okay. Let me go double check something really quick. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys. Almost done, you guys. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Whew. Okay. All right, we are back. So first of all, uh, the most important thing we need to do is go to our garage. So here we have the three armored cores that we got through the last game with. Um, we have some new parts in the shops that we want to look at. Uh, there's a new head. Actually, that head was in the last game. We just never bought it. So I'm going to buy it. There's no new core parts. There's some new arm parts. Um... One of them is a, I think this is a pod launcher, um, which we're not really concerned with. Uh, now here's what we came here for, are these new fucking leg parts. 
Uh, all of these are new. All of these are incredibly potent. Um, we've got a, a heavy reverse joint now. We've got a, a really lightweight quad part. And then we've got that uh, floating part, which was from the last game. Um, which we're not concerned with. Okay. So we now have access to a more powerful, most powerful uh, booster. I don't think there are any new control systems. Wide and shallow, nope. At least I don't think there's any we need to be concerned about. Uh, we don't have any new generators to worry about, no new radiators. There's a couple new inside parts, I think. I think there's one or two. Um, there's new extensions here. Support missile launcher, one that disrupts missiles, uh, lock-on, and a side shield with no usage drain, which is cool. Uh, that might be useful at some point. Um, I don't think we have any new back... Wait, nope, I'm an idiot. We've got this back unit. It's it's uh, basically a lighter weight machine gun. So what they did with this game, uh, which I greatly appreciate, is they introduced a lot of um, lightweight versions of weapons that were in the previous game um, in order to give you more options when it comes to a lightweight build. Um, we've also got new other... Uh, right-hand weapons, so like this one, this is a heat rifle, which is just a, a version of this that does less damage, but does more heat damage. Um, let's see. We've got another lightweight machine gun. Uh, it doesn't do as much damage and doesn't have as much uh, power as our current machine gun. Uh, so we're not worried about that. Uh, let's see. I think there's one or two more right-hand weapons here. Uh, this is a new one. I think. I'm pretty sure that's a new one. Let's see. That might be a new one, but I don't remember. Uh, so that's it for the right arm. Now here's the important part. The left arm stuff, we've got a bunch of new stuff. Including a fucking rifle. So you can now start to actually dual wield. Our right arm handgun, or left arm handgun. Um, and we will be unlocking more. Also a shield that doesn't require energy. Uh, which is kind of incredibly important. All right. So what we're actually going to do here is um, we're going to switch out for those new bipedal legs we bought, which are not these, not that, not that, not that. It's the crazy-looking ones, these ones. Uh, this, right out the bat, is um, some of the better um, right leg or uh, bipedal legs that you can equip. And you get it right off the bat, which is really cool. Um, we're going to switch out for the new uh, boosters here, which will give us some serious boost power. And then other than that, I don't think we're going to have really anything to worry about switching out here. Uh, I don't think so anyways. Uh, there's a new machine gun that everyone says is in this game that's fucking amazing. Um, we're going to keep the flamethrower on for now. we we'll probably switch out for a heavier head. Actually, yeah, we can switch back out for this bad boy. Except there's no point because the armor and defensive points are worse. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, um... We've got a good middleweight core equipped. Switching out to the other one reduces the armor points. Um, still got the best arms we can probably use right now, so I think we're good. And from here on, we can actually go and fuck around in the arena. Uh, we're going to start unlocking some parts through the arena very quickly. Actually, you know what? Let's save first, just to make sure that we have a good new save in the game. We don't have to worry about um, transferring data or anything here. Alright, save complete. Let's go. And I'm Raven rank E again because apparently this is way in the future now. Smug Wendy, newly inducted into the Raven Order, this pilot's past is a mystery. 
Like all recruits, he has proven himself a capable AC operator, but that alone doesn't count for much in the arena. Is he up to the challenge? Only time will tell. I think we're up to the challenge. Oof. All right. First fight, Little Bear. Lacking the confidence to pursue his dream of one day becoming a raven, Little Bear spent a number of years engaged in different professions before finally mustering the courage to take the initiation test. He passed, but just barely. All right, so this guy will be easy. So, Dave, um, there's some new arena levels here. Uh, some of them have been, they've gotten rid of some of them too. Um, so we'll have a little bit more variety compared to what we were dealing with the last time. So this is going to be just as easy as ever. Oh shit, he's dead already. Um, whoops. <laughs> this is, uh, this will be the first 25 minutes of stream. It's just blowing our way through all of this stuff here. Right, 7,000 credits. At least they give us some good, a good amount of money for arena victories early on. Not like the beginning of 3 where you're getting like 1,500 credits. Whew. All right, Shooting Star, a sore loser who can't stand defeat. He prefers to lay the blame for his losses on malfunctioning equipment, bad timing, or any other excuse he can come up with on the fly. His arrogance is matched only by his bullheadedness. So, uh, this guy's got some serious Johns. Uh, let's put him in his place, shall we? I'm assuming that, um... I'm assuming that once we get further into the game, oops, um, the difficulty curve will come back to slap us in the mouth. Um, except for the fact that I apparently can't fucking aim today. That was fast. Um, but I don't think we're going to have as many issues as we had towards the end of 3, just because we have everything already, including our OP Intensify stuff. Um... Which pretty much breaks the game. Not gonna lie. You know what? Let's actually oh, scratch my head. Let's actually check and make sure we have that equipped. I have new mail. Fuck it. Let's look. All right, little bear. Great rat. Blah, blah, blah. Great match, Raven. You far exceeded my expectations. Next time we meet, I will be better prepared. Cool. Excuse me. Jesus Christ. Okay. Congratulations on your first victory, Raven. The arena is always in need of fresh pilots to keep it vitalized. The arena operations will provide you with a part for each time you reach a certain rank. Please check your garage to receive the left arm AC part. Um, we're actually going to switch out for that part when we go to the garage here. Uh, optional parts. That's a fi. All right. So this is what I was looking for in the beginning here. It is a napalm howitzer. Um, it's very limited in its ammo, uh, but it fires like a pistol. Uh, actually, a, a slower traveling projectile pistol, um, but it's really good for us and for our um, heat overheat build that we're trying to work on these guys uh, early on in the arena here. Yeah. All right, Bouquet. She suffers from amnesia and is struggling to recollect her past. The word Raven sparked something and she decided to pursue the lead in the hope of having a breakthrough. Frequent pauses during battle leave her vulnerable to attack. Okay, you'll be easy. All right, still got the old parking lot, tropical forest, ruin, underground factory, limestone cave, and train city. Let's go to the cave. I'm interested to see what this looks like. I'm interested in the new stuff. I'm sure we'll fall back to the parking lot when we run into enemies worthy of cheesing. Look at this. She 
she's in the water, so the heat isn't doing that much damage to her, but that still worked out pretty well. See, I like the flamethrower, but I don't like how close you have to get, because then I have to be consistent in my circle strafing, and I'm not that good at that without randomly aiming up or down. Um, so playing as we are right now is pretty good for us. All right, 10,000 credits already. They really throw on the cash early on here. All right, Cobalt Blue. Whew, a true survivor, Cobalt Blue overcame a series of childhood illnesses through sheer determination and strength of will. Uh, medicine had nothing to do with that. He brings these same traits to the arena and is one of the lower tier's most popular competitors. Using Killer Whale, and it looks like he's got a complete missile build. And I don't know what that is on his left arm. It looks like some sort of projectile. Yo, Psyche Tyrant! What's up? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm a giant child. Seriously, though, how you doing? I've been good. You missed out on a bunch of uh, fun streams. We started Final Fantasy VII, of all things. We've uh, we've taken to calling Sephiroth Edgelord for the entire playthrough, and all our characters are named terrible things. Uh, Eris is named Martyr. <laughs> wow, look at him hopping around. The AI's kind of improved. Still not. Uh... Oh yeah, we're doing we're doing Final Fantasy VII. Um, I think I'm like four or five, uh, three or four streams in. I don't know. It's over on the the YouTube channel, and I think there might still be one uh, video on demand here on Twitch. Um, yeah, we're we're call. Um, let's see. Let's go through the names. Yuffie is named Hentai. Tifa is named Honkers. Um, uh, Barrett is named Kanye. Uh, Red 13 I named Cucks a lot for some fucking reason. Probably because the first time you meet him, there's, he's supposed to be banging Aerith. Or Eris. Um, let's see, who else did we name? Who else did we name? Um, we're not calling Sephiroth Sephiroth. We're calling Sephiroth Edgelord throughout the entire fucking uh, LP, which I think uh, honestly pissed some people off. Uh, but fuck them. Um, and our our main character's name is Kligs, because I fucked up. Um, I was gonna name him Klig Bitterus. <laughs> um, but I accidentally hit select instead of delete, and so his name is Kligs. So, whoops. Alright, 7th Heaven. Whew. Unafraid to meet her opponents head-on, 7th Heaven's AC is capable of both withstanding punishment and meeting it out. The combination of her piloting abilities and self-confidence have been the downfall of many arena hopefuls. Oh! Uh, you missed our first Silent Hill stream, unfortunately. Uh, we got about an hour and we got into the school, I got lost, and then I ended the stream. <laughs> uh, I think this, this AC is using the, uh, the machine gun that we fucking want. All right, so let's uh, let's go to Train City here. Yeah, I know, you missed it. I'm sad, uh, but it's still over on the YouTube channel, so you can check out the first one. Um, I'll probably do another one soon because I'm trying to rotate through. Um, I'm trying to rotate through a bunch of different games, uh, just to try and please as many people as once as possible. Wow, and that thing's dead already. <laughs> the music here is really good. Wait until next Wednesday to play more of Silent Hill, my only request. Yeah, we can do that. We're going between this, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy Tactics, Silent Hill, and I might throw, uh, I might throw Onimusha into the mix because I've never played uh, Onimusha before, and I thought it would be fun to do a uh, a live stream 
of my first blind playthrough of that. Look at that big fucking cannon. Whew. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, Prophet, a pilot with very few arena victories to his name and an even worse mission completion record. He is convinced that he possesses great talent, but his performance doesn't bear this out. Target acquisition issues prevent advancement. <laughs> Mornings do about four, and you know, stream normally at noon time. That means you're on the East Coast. I'm on the West Coast. I wake up, drink coffee, wake up for a few hours, and then start streaming. That'll absolutely change once the summer semester starts here. Um, yeah. All right, commence versus battle. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I won't be streaming as often, unfortunately, but I should still be streaming. <laughs> All right, time to keep going. So, uh, let's say start your vacation. Yay! Oops. I gotta turn off my Exceed Orbit for a second there. Well, these guys is juking as much improved over the previous game. I mean, he's still fucking on fire and burning to death. He doesn't know how to aim his fucking weapons. Um, we're, there's no way we're going to be able to play Tofu, believe it or not. Um, in order to get Tofu, you have to be, beat Leon A, Claire B, with a, um, a, an A rank twice. So you have to go through it twice, um, which I might, I might actually play Leon A, Claire B at some point. Um, but you also have to beat... Third Survivor, I think it was. There's a bunch of prerequisites to unlock Tofu. Uh, hey, Thunder. Uh, we haven't done any missions yet. We've just been focusing on the arena for now. Um, reveling in the new parts and everything. We got those legs we were talking about that are super awesome. Um, I'm going to get up to E1 here, and then I'm going to start doing missions and whatnot. I tried playing Hunk the other day, and I got my shit pushed in. It was really bad. So I have a feeling between that and the, the EX battle mode, we'll be having a lot of fun on another Resident Evil stream at some point here. Hell yeah, I bought those fucking legs. All right, Gimlet. Using whatever means necessary to win, Gimlet is not known for his grace under fire. Whew. He expends ammunition at a breakneck pace and could care less about what others think of his strategy. Mileage and Gimlet have a long-running dispute and do not get along. All right, where do I want to take this person? Let's go to structure. Do some of the old school levels here. Not really old school, but back and layered. Well, then you're probably going to be helping me with my uh, Silent Hill thing because I've gotten, I've gotten about ninety percent of the way through the hospital, but I've never beaten the game. Um, so I have a feeling you'll be guiding my hips. Where did you go? Where did you, there you go? You're hiding over here, burning to death. God damn it! Yeah, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. There we go. Um, I haven't been able to get the Pixie Three yet. That's that chain gun looking one, right? I'm assuming it's that chain gun looking one because I've seen it used already um, in the arena. Not well, obviously, but I'm 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 super ready to pick that up. All right, so here we go, gold bit, and then once we kill gold bit, I'm probably gonna take 30 seconds here. I mentioned earlier in the stream I'm like dying, so I'm gonna have to get up probably um, a little more often than I usually would, but yeah. All right, gold bit. Membership in a radical group striving to revive long-lost traditions has caused some to label her as old-fashioned. She adheres to textbook strategies, but is beginning to rethink her effectiveness after a series of back-to-back -back losses. Right, let's go fuck her up. Uh, how long are you in the game? Uh, Tyrant, which game? What are you referring to? <laughs> I'm dying. It's... Yeah, uh, eh. I've had a lot of Chicago-style pizza the past couple days, and so... Uh, Silent Hill? In uh, Silent Hill, uh, we were about... Um, I 
think about an hour in, and um, actually a little less than that, and we'd just gotten into the school um, and started exploring it. Um, I was getting kind of grumpy uh, because I had, uh, uh, I wasn't able to find the map, and uh, it was super late at night. I think I'd started the stream at like midnight, um, and I was tired, so I got in and I got in uh, about an hour and said, yeah, we'll continue this later. I might do, I'll either do, I'll either do, I mean, I said I'm in the school, right? Yeah, I'm in the school. I just got to the school. Um, all right, so we've finished the E-ranks here. I have new mail. Let's read all the mail. Um, I finished the school, um, or not finished the school. I got to the school. I, I did like one or two loops around the school and then I, I stopped the stream. So, okay, Gimlet. There's no one. There's no way someone like you could defeat me. This must be a mistake. I demand a rematch. Uh, you might get your fucking rematch because I've got a really cool feature about this game that I didn't know existed in this game that I want to show off. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get that into it, but we're definitely gonna show it off. All right, making it this far is very commendable, but I think you've just about reached your limits. My recommendation: go back to bottom feeding before you get hurt. He says. Uh, <laughs> I'm not checking my inbox very well, but I'm sure he sent that before I pushed his shit in, wiped the floor with him, and then banged his wife in front of him. All right, very quickly, my ass is gonna run. About 30 seconds. Uh, please bear with me, I'll be right back. No, I'm kidding, it's not that bad. Oh my god, I'm back! Here, let me switch back over to the game. Let's go! This is it! Yeah! Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. Thanks for bearing with me. I'm thinking of throwing a bunch of stupid animated GIFs and like shameless uh, pleas for follows <laughs> into my uh, into my will be right back screen. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what I want to do yet. I might do something like that. I might try to make that at, like as disgusting as possible, like as a joke. Um, but I don't know yet. Um, uh, Thunder, I has question for you. Deadpool on a strip pole. That's kind of funny. Um, I have a question for you, uh, sir. And my question is, uh, are there at any point in this game either... Um, a core that has an exceed orbit that uses um, shell-based weaponry uh, or solid weaponry, or do I get an auto cannon inside part? Because uh, I'm interested in equipping something like that at some point. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so our assembly here. Uh, I'm gonna keep that how it's around because that's great for taking care of stuff. Actually, uh, we're pretty much ready to go as it is. Uh, may want to switch out that extension. Where are you at? Where are you at? 197. Do I have enough to switch back over to the... that? No, I do not. Hmm. 
I might be able to switch over to that at some point in the future here. Uh, so let's do some missions, shall we? Look at this. Land. We're not underground anymore. That's cool. Eliminate Rogue Engineer. What you got for us? Raven, we have an urgent assignment. Okay. Your target is one of the engineers involved in the construction of our newest facility. Okay. It must be eliminated. Okay. The facility in question will eventually serve as a military outpost. I don't care. The fact that it is still under construction does not in any way diminish our concern for maintaining secrecy. My cat just flew down the stairs. To this end, what the fuck? All engineers involved in the project are to be confined there for an He's freaking out. amount of time upon its completion. One of them refused and took control of the security system. Uh-oh. It may seem like a drastic measure, but the only way we can guarantee his silence is to eliminate him. Good luck. You did hear cat. My cat is is freaking out. So it says a lot about these fucking corporations, 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 that the first thing that happens with the corporations is uh, they ask you to kill a bunch of their engineers. One of them specifically, but. Oh, wow. We're going to switch over to this one here. Where are we going next? Probably B, huh? Let's go to B. The way you unlock most of the hidden parts in this game is by doing specific objectives or by doing things in specific time limits. Okay. Good to know. They keep getting shot up by their fucking friends. There's nothing back there to worry about. I'm glad we did the OP intensify shit. Very glad we did that. Time to go up here. What do you want, cat? What are you doing, cat? What? Meow. Kitty. He's just looking at me like, fuck you, bruh. Fuck, talk to me like that, bro. I'm a cat, bro. I'll fuck you up, bro. Meow, meow, motherfucker. Ah. Ah. I can't target worth a goddamn. Kill the man. I did it for money. This is a decent uh, laser cannon for early game. We'll probably switch it out, but I don't know. Some kind of mutt. Uh, we adopted him, God, like eight years ago. Maybe seven or eight years ago. What are you running for, you little asshole? Uh, we adopted him back when uh, we lived in Illinois, like seven or eight years ago. He's uh, fully declawed. He's never weighed more than 10 pounds. Uh, he's the most useless thing we've ever we've ever purchased or adopted. He doesn't even he doesn't go after bugs. He doesn't go after lizards in the backyard. He doesn't go after fucking anything. So he's just kind of a living teddy bear. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you little asshole. <laughs> he's over there acting like you're not fucking you little motherfucker. Disperse gathering. Hire this giant military weapon to disperse protesters. We'd like you to investigate reports of a suspicious gathering in Sector 517. The sector has been under Mirage's control ever, ever since Quest with Quest. With quest with Dwu from the Elwia. God. Ends now. now. As the administrator, we have a responsibility for security, security and integrity. Activity. Suspicious activities such as the gathering is best quelled early on. All right. So literally, they're starting to protest what we're doing. Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> Enemy strength is unknown. I think this is one of the... Yeah, this is one of the levels from uh, from 2. Or 3, excuse me. So, uh, some recycling of stuff here. Okay, guys, if you're going to have a peaceful protest, doing it in uh, military-grade weapons is probably going to cause problems for you. That one is dead. Wow. I'm missing him a lot. There we go. Wow. I cannot target today. Also, in this game, they introduced a new type of enemy nickname. 
big whites. Oh, Jesus. Do they have names like Cletus and uh, Jimmy Joe Bob and Jim Bobbity Bob? Are the big whites ACs or are they something different? Did you die? Yes, you did. It looks like we did it. Maybe. Let's go. Not done with this mission yet. Bouncing around, bouncing around. The term big whites immediately makes me think of like fat southern dudes. Like the type of guys who seriously used the term as was the style at the time. I think it is. Oops. Those guys are down, and I'm pretty sure there's one left back over here. Let's see. This might be a dead end here. They're kind of like ACs, but bulkier. Interesting. Very interesting. Now my cat's just sitting over there staring at me. You little son of a bitch. Get a fucking job! <laughs> here we go. I think this will be the last guy or group of guys here. Yep. That was a good, good little altercation there. Getting the bunny hops in in the missions is important too. Dodge around stuff. Gotta go pick up your friend from school kids? Like, are they being attacked by school kids? Oh no. <laughs> yes, I look forward to hanging out for Silent Hill. Have good one. Have nice day. All right, Raven rank B, we've done pretty good. Aw, <laughs> I'm 30 years old. I'm no child. Great work, Raven. The group you intercepted was trying to incite anti-mirage sentiment among layered residents in the hopes of destabilizing our position. Uh, this was obviously a weak attempt put forth by Crest in an effort to regain control of the sector. Ever since the controller's demise, Crest has taken an active interest in filling the void left behind. We've admittedly been far too lax maintaining our presence in Layered, but only because all of our efforts are currently concentrated on matters relating to surface development. We lack the assets to manage both simultaneously. Those who still insist on dwelling exclusively within the confines of Layered need to realize that the future lies elsewhere. The time has come to expand our horizons. Fast, lightweight AC with a Pixie 3 and a shotgun. You can circle around them with a build like that fairly easily. Sounds good. I might try that. I'm so excited to get that fucking weapon. Let's see. Am I ranked D yet? No, I'm not. Damn it. I don't have the D yet. All right. We can go on to Nature Preserve or we can still fuck around in Old Layered. I like the idea of fucking around in Old Layered. So for no money... 8,000 credits, I can distract the security team. What's Thanks going on here? Thanks to the one of our operatives, we've confirmed that Crest, Crest possesses, possesses information him. about the silent line. Oh no! Plans are underway to intercept the transport carrying this information. We'll oh, I scratch. As it enters a tunnel on the B-17 superhighway. Your oh hey, that fucking highway thing, cool. Civil defense team in charge of highway security. Deal with the civil Keep defense the team. Forces occupied so they don't interfere with the efforts of our recovery team. If the mission is so important, why are you only paying me 8,000 fucking credits? I mean, yeah, I guess we don't have to hire one of these guys. Uh, we're still going to, though. Four man. We're going to hire four man because that MT looks fucking cool. Um, I don't know if you guys saw, but since we carried over all our cash from the previous game... Um, money is no object again. Whew. There we go. I'm alive now. 
Yeah, money is no object again, so at this point it's just a matter of um, getting through the missions. Raven, find a way to get their attention. Really? Why are you fucking yelling at me like that, ass? How dare you approach me that way? What you have to do here is a bit fucked up. Yeah. Apparently I just have to kill people. Okay. That's fine. You all gonna die. I'm gonna murder all y'all. So they're paying me 8k credits. And apparently I have to kill a bunch of people. Haha. -ha. Nope, I'm not trying to leave. Here we go. I wouldn't call that a disturbance. I would call that mass fucking murder. Also, look at the look at the lens flare going through the wall. All right, here we go. We've done it. Now we get to attack these guys. The MTs have some cool designs in this game, I think. They look kind of like mech warrior shits. Oh, behind us. Security elements are on scene. Of course, I'm wasting money with the, or wasting a lot of energy with the exceed orbit there. Wow, you're not dead? Oh, you tried to get me with a pile bunker. Okay, well, that went quickly. Right? Yep, we do it. Also, Nexus doesn't let you carry over data from Silent Line. No! Actually, that's not that big of a deal. I think we'll be fine. We've proven we can handle it. Twice now, once with Armored Core 2, once with Armored Core 3. This is actually this is actually the first game where we've carried over data, interestingly enough. Raven rank S, because we didn't do uh, another age. Nexus give a lo gives a lot of money from each mission, a lot more than other games. Cool. I have new mails. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Global Cortex, part reward. Nice. Congratulations on your new rank, Raven. Oh, cool. I'm D. I've got the D. Um, now I'm going to give everybody in the arena the D. Yeah! Uh, improving your rank reflects well on Global Cortex, and we will provide you with a part reward each time this occurs. We're pleased to offer you the MRL MM011 back part in recognition of your current achievement. So let's go check out that back part, shall we? First, we'll switch over to Frosty, since we're going to be going to the, uh, the arena next. MRL RE 111. There's another MRL. Let's see. We got a lot of shit here. It's not that. It's not that. My cat is in the other room attacking and biting his own tail. Alright, let's see. Where's this part? Was it just another one of these radars? I guess it was. Uh, OP Intensify doesn't exist in Nexus, but AI-controlled ACs still have it for some reason. I'm sure that'll be a tremendous pain in the ass. Okay. We're going into the fucking cockpit, you guys. Alright, panel. Alright. I want enemy heat. Enemy energy. Enemy data. Remnants, outer heat. Actually, outer heat isn't that big of a deal, but speedometer is for us. We don't want altimeter. So there's an actual cockpit view this time. Isn't that cool? Let's change it pink. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gonna have to deal with this shit now. Nah. I'll do that for a few things here in the arena, and then we'll carry on. Um, <laughs> it's it's. I hope none of y'all are prone to seizures because there's going to be a lot of muzzle flash right in our flaces. Flaces? Flaces. Right in our flaces. Fuck me. Whew. Okay, let's go. Mileage. Because of his loathing for waste in any form, he does his best to choose targets with care and only fires with his weapons when a hit is assured. He and Gimlet have very different views regarding tactics and do not get along. That does not matter to me. First person thing was actually a cheat you can do in previous games. Yeah, I know, but it's... I don't know. I like the fact that there's like a dedicated cockpit view in this game. Um, 
It definitely needs fucking work, but the fact that it's here as an option that isn't like a hidden cheat thing is an improvement. <clears throat> In my opinion. Okay, look at this. So where we're sitting, we're right next to our fucking... Right next to our fucking gun. So we're basically looking in between our weapons. I think I actually have a lot easier of a time um, doing this. Look at that. We fucking owned him. I think I have a lot easier of a time um, in first person, but I don't think it's very good for, uh, for viewing. So I'll do a few more in first person just because it's so much fun, and then I, I will switch back. All right, D6, Calamity. Calamity derives enjoyment from tricking her opponents with well-timed feints and other t and attacks. To her, outwinning an opponent is the ultimate achievement. As clever as she is, she has been known to falter when the tables are turned, which it's about to fucking happen. That's a cool little... I'm assuming that's like an energy uh, pistol or energy machine gun that she has equipped on her right hand there. I haven't seen that one before. All right, where do I want to take you? Let's go back to the military district. I'm liking these open areas now. It's fun. It's fun. Here. Ooh. Where are you at? got behind me somehow. Oh, and above me? Oh, God. This is going poorly. Actually, it's going much better now. The buildings are a nice touch because you can go in and out of the buildings and everything, but you can also destroy them so you can destroy somebody's cover if they're like, if they keep ducking out and firing at you. All right, that one went pretty well. Ori and the Blind Forest. Hmm. Is that an energy right left hand weapon? It looks like it is an energy. That thing looks cool as hell. Okay, an exhibitionist who believes arena battles should be as much about entertainment as they are about victory. This is not to say that he doesn't have the same aspirations as other competitors. He just favors a different approach. What are those back parts he has? They look like... Like extra boosters. It's actually a really interesting build. I'm interested to see how this guy fights. So we'll take you right to the arena. What are all those parts, Thunder? Really, you're gonna be one of these up in the air motherfuckers. Where are you at? There you are. Well, you're proved to be a tremendous pain in the ass. At least able to keep it decent. Right, come on, come back down. Oh, almost got you. Whoops. It's kind of difficult seeing the reticle, uh, seeing your giant targeting box with everything else that is happening on screen. Um, those, those cool shoulder pieces he had, the, the, the left hand laser thing, all those look fucking awesome, dude. All those look really cool. Oh, there goes my back. All right, let's switch away from the 2100 or 21,000 credits acquired and more mail. What do we got? Arena progress. Congratulations on, reading, on reaching the D ranks, Raven. We've prepared a reward in recognition of your accomplishment. Please check your garage for the CR, CWR M70 AC back part. CWR M70. Let's go take a look at that and switch our cockpit view. CWR M70. CWR M70. Oh, wow, that is a fantastic rocket launcher with the amount of, like, ammunition that it comes with. Look at that. It's a better version of that. It weighs 600 more. 
But that's got a shit ton of rockets. That's actually, that would probably be incredibly useful for some, uh, for some missions. All right, what were we doing? What were we doing? We were, we were switching out the cockpit because, oh my god, that was, that was getting to be trouble. All right, let's change the color to something more palatable, like purple. We'll go with cyan again. I like that color. All right, and let's continue on with the arena. I have a feeling we're going to blow this game out uh, fairly quickly compared to the other ones, especially since we don't have to do any work to prepare this save file for the next game. We'll pretty much be able to beat everything in it and then just keep going. All right, rank D4, rotation. Equipped with a wide selection of weapon types, rotation's true dilemma is choosing which one to use and when. All too often, he'll become so bogged down trying to settle on the best choice for the situation that any advantage is quickly lost. He's got some, uh, he's got a heavy weapon there and whatever that is, is that another machine gun or a shotgun? I don't know what that is. We needed our MWG. Yeah, that's a machine gun. I think that's the machine gun. Uh, hang on. Is that the machine gun, Thunder? The internet at my school isn't too great, so the stream falls behind the audio for me a lot. Later when I get home, I'll probably be able to help you more when I get home if you're still on. Cool. Yeah, don't... You, you, you have absolutely no obligation to actually help me, so, you know, any, any, um... He's got a solid shell EO cord. No shit! Yeah! No, any, any advice you're able to offer is, is, is definitely helpful, but not at all required. Wow, this guy, uh, yeah, he's definitely got the machine gun. Problem is, you're too slow, buddy. Buddy. I'm actually interested to start running into, um, uh, ACs with plates. Are you dead already? Yeah, you are. Still shooting at me, even though you were dead. He is using the Pixie 3. Okay. The one I saw was that big fucking chain gun one. Um, I'm interested I'm interested in all the machine guns, to be perfectly honest. But that ha that right hand chain gun looked fucking cool. If not a little unwieldy. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Twenty-five thousand credits acquired. Rodeo. He compares operating his AC to riding a wild, untamed Bronco. The high-performance E-Booster and Generator equipped on the unit make it extremely agile, but as the pilot himself is willing to admit, perfecting the controls takes time. Okay, he's got a different version of the 1,000-round machine gun, and he's got a rifle, so this guy will probably be trouble. But I want to see... not me. I'll read that later. I wanted to see Rotation's core. Is that a heavy core he has equipped? No, that is... That is a different version of one of the cores I have already, I think. And I can see the, the Solid Shell EO stuff on his back there. That's really cool. There's a hidden Solid Shell EO core in a mission called something like Destroy AI Prototype, where you need to destroy two enemy ACs near the end of the mission to get the part. Cool. Thanks for the, thanks for the tip. No, nope, I don't want to challenge this one again. I want to continue on to Rodeo. Okay, we read him already. We know he's fast. Uh... Good luck being fast inside of a damn thing. Yeah, do your thing, Thunder. No problem at all. No problems at all. See you soon. Okay, so you're fast, but you're not really trying to get in behind me. Oops. Come on. Man, his rifle is stun-locking me. Having trouble with the rifle, of all things. This is a good fight. Uh, he's he's doing real good. I mean, not anymore now that he's backed himself into a corner, but uh, he actually did pretty good with that rifle there. Sweet! That was a decent fight. That was a good fight. I liked that fight. Felt good. Felt good to fighty fight, fight, fight. Whew. To continue on... Ballistics, Ballistic, and Apophis. <laughs> cool. All right, known for his both, known for both his flamboyant combat presentations and AC color scheme. Oh, you can do patterns in this game. Fuck yeah. 
Uh, this pilot is a fan favorite. Nothing excites them more than witnessing one of his spectacular missile salvos. His, oppor his opponents are usually less enthusiastic. Um, let's fight you in the cave. See see how you do in the cave, dare bra. Bro, bro, bra. Bra, bro, bro. Bro, dog. Bro, homie. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Where'd you go? Hanging out down there? Okay. The uh, missile extensions seem to be working better than they did previously. And, uh... Oh, I don't want to get near that. Dropping mines in the air. How petty of you, sir. Sir, don't you know that arena combat is sacred or something? How dare you drop mines? This isn't war. This is a joust, sir. I shall kill you, sir. There we go. He's dead now. That was a decent fight. I mean, not on his end, but it was cool to look at. And it was cool to see the uh, extensions work better. All right. We're going to do uh, this fight here. And then we're going to fuck around with color schemes. Because the fact that there's patterns now makes me... A happy, happy boy. All right. A heartless raven who delights in the suffering of others. He is disliked by most of his peers because of his unsportsmanlike conduct and is a frequent target of pilots looking to teach him a lesson in humility. All right. I... Th that fucking back piece looks badass as fuck, but that right-hand weapon, he's got two flamethrowers, so this guy uh, is not somebody you want to get in close with. I think the arena will do us well here. Man, that's trouble for us. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Not really. But, um... Heavy flame builds uh, usually go a very long way towards uh, uh, being able to fuck up an opponent quickly. Yeah. As long as we can keep... Like, if he if he gets in close enough that he can get us with his... Oh, never mind. I don't know why I'm, like, talking up fucking flame build when that happens. So, good job, asshole. Normally guys with two flame weapons from like the later Armored Core games, if they can train their flamethrowers on you for like a second, you're going to lose half your health over the course of about 20 seconds. All right, so we're now D1. Let's see. Steady progress through the lower ranks of the arena has convinced some fans that this pilot is one to keep an eye on. Others are less sure. He'll have to maintain his current pace if he hopes to win over the skeptics. Well, they seem to be doing pretty well, eh? Let's see, no more mail. Go to the garage. We want to look at the paint stuff. Color. Sample color, color edit, and pattern. General. So each thing has a camouflage pattern now. That looks cool as fuck. So we're going to put it on this one. I don't know. Pattern settings updated. Fuck yeah. Okay, that looks pretty badass, actually. I'm really happy with that. Like, even the fact that it's one color, one camo pattern is pretty cool. Fuck it, we'll throw it on this one, too. <laughs> General. Hmm. The symmetry of that looks fucking cool. You know what? Fuck it. It's new. Why not throw it on for everybody? You guys you guys are enjoy seeing this shit, right? I bet this one's going to look weird. Hmm. That doesn't look as Wendy as we probably want it. You know what? We can do something a little different here. Switch the legs to camouflage. And the core to camouflage. And keep the arms the way it is. The way they are, excuse me. That looks cool. Alright, so now it's time for a few more missions. Whew, excuse me. It'll be great to uh, start getting more left and right hand weapons here. I have a feeling the uh, the the back weapons are going to take a real backseat to the cool stuff we can now do with the left hand weapons. Save complete. All right, let's look into some more missions. All right, nature preserve. Destroy elite unit or protect power plant. Let's destroy elite unit. 
Not a big fan of the protect stuff, especially after that bucking microwave hallway from the last game. Our objective during this mission is to wrest control of the dim forest region from Kisaragi. Okay. We would appreciate your assistance. Oh, you're paying me. In the course of the past few years, Kisaragi's influence and power have dwindled significantly. Their grip on the dim forest region is tenuous at best. You're a dim forest. In fact, the only reason they still control the region is due to the presence of their elite jungle warfare unit. Oh my god. This team is particularly well suited to the conditions that exist there. Removing them from the picture is a surefire. This will be interesting. I wonder if we'll fight an AC here. Struggle to remain competitive. Alright, let's go do, let's go for it. Let's do it. Oh, we can bring along a consort. Squad Alpha or Squad Beta. Bring along some helicopters. That'd be funny. What is this? All right, I've got enough to hire two of the lesser guys here. Huh. Five thousand. So we're gonna bring Beacon and Drunkard here. Mm, excuse me. Consort named Criminal. Wow. And Reckless. Fuck it. This will be fun. More allies, more fun, right? Right, you guys. Hmm. Yeah, Whatever. Wow, those things are actually a lot larger than I expected them to be. Where's it at? Whoops! I accidentally shot my flea in. Alright, there's one down. Oh wow, they're uh doing their best to get on my ass. I have the howitzer also. Where are you at? There you go, that one's down. Which leaves us one more way over there. Looks like they took out one of my consorts, actually. That howitzer does not fly far. It doesn't need to, but... Getting a little height and firing at the height of the bunny hop actually uh, helps with that a lot. All right, what else do we got? This one's quiet. It's a very quiet mission. This reminds me of Gundam 8th MS Team, where it's just this dark-ass jungle they have to fight in the whole time. All right, let's see. It's just a big open square. Do we have enemies out here? Oh, no, we got it all. Maybe the consort took care of the last one. Mission objective achieved. Sweet, we did it. System switch to normal mode. Woo! Very quiet. Very quiet mission. I hope they're not all like that. <laughs> Walked out with negative 14 balance. Probably doesn't help that I accidentally shot one of my teammates with a fucking howitzer. I have new mail. What do we got? Probably a thank you. Yeah, Raven, thanks for your help on that last mission. Ever since access to the planet's surface became available, a great deal of emphasis has been placed on its redevelopment, even though the majority of humans still reside in Laird. In our opinion, this is a mistake. Law and order have already been established in Laird, and the citizens are properly subdued. This system benefits us. We won't just discard it in favor of another. As a leadership vacuum exists in Laird, and Crest intends to be the one to fill it. As part of your effort to take over the day-to-day -day governing of Laird, part of our effort, we've decided to build fortresses that will act as security checkpoints in areas where the underground city connects to the surface. We're counting on you to be there for us when we need you. Okay, sure, whatever. All right, next mission. Another one in the nature preserve. Protect power plant. Again. All right. Hopefully this doesn't suck. Raven. We've just registered a breach in the security net around one of our main power plants. Uh-oh. Initial information seems to point to Mirage as the most likely culprit. Great, Given I don't Mirage's care. Mirage's recent interest in developing unconventional warfare tactics utilizing AI-controlled units. Don't care. We have good reason to be concerned here. We'd like Let's you to on. take up position in the power plant and repel Help any intruders. Make it into the Whoever is behind this assault, they are most likely trying to destroy the power condensers. Protect them at all costs. Okay. All right, I've got six thousand to spend on bros. 
Drunkard or Ronin. We'll bring it Claire. And here we go. More missions. This is going swimmingly so far. Main system. Engaging combat mode. So let's see. Here's the room where we've got to protect the people. It looks like there's doors on different sides. Okay. I'm actually willing to use... I'm actually willing to use a machine gun for this one. Uh, just to make things go a little faster. These guys aren't exactly fast moving either, so a couple of hits from the machine guns. Oh. Oop. Come on, come on, come on. Anyways, a couple of hits from those things should be more than enough to handle these guys. They're actually going very well. Oh yeah. Probably be right behind me, right? Right? Where are you motherfuckers? I got all reprieve from the fight here. Watching our radar, obviously. Oh, here we go. Probably wouldn't do bad with uh, a regular back cannon either. As long as they don't get the charges on there, I think we're gonna be good for this mission. Exceed orbit will probably help as well. Yeah, this is the uh, no problems here, luckily. At least it's not based on them actually trying to fire at the things. Uh, that's always a pain in the ass, as you guys can imagine. Like, if it's a matter of crossfire accidentally destroying one of those things, that would suck. Oh, nose itch. Where to next? Where are you boys coming from? Exceed orbits really like firing until the fucking reticle goes away. I guess it's computer controlled, so there's no real. These things burn fast, man. There we go. Oh, wow. We shot that without actually locking onto it. That was pretty good. Ah, shit. Of course, we're looking in the exact wrong direction. There we go. We did it. We are the best. You are not the best. Special reward, right arm part, CWGBZ80. Cool. So that's what Thunder was talking about. You get a special reward for completing certain objectives. Right, so we got what I hope is a cool new right arm part. It was CWGBG20 or something. BZ30, BZ80, BZ50. Wait, maybe it was this. I think it was this, because that's new. Solid shell bazoo bazooka with added ammo. So it's a heavier version of the other thing with more ammo. Cool. Cool, we can run with this. Did I go up in rank yet? Nope, I'm still D. Still giving them all the D. Ha ha ha. D, eel with it. Alright, lab development. Protect park transport or defend solar power plant. You know what? I'm gonna save before I do any of this stuff because I feel I feel like this is this is the point uh, Thunder was talking about, where we're gonna run into all of these missions where um, performing them exceptionally is going to get us better or get us new parts, um, which is important to me because I want to see as many of them as possible. I might not use them all, but you know what? Also, I'm gonna take another short break here, so hopefully you guys will bear with me. Uh, I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere.
Alrighty then. Yo, I'm back. What's up? Yo, I just caught a look at myself in a goddamn mirror. I look like shit. I need a haircut. Should I try to cut my own hair live on stream? That would be a real ball exposure. <laughs> I'd look like a goddamn idiot after. It's okay. Mission. Lab development. Let's do that solar power plant first. This is from Mirage. Word that a detachment of pressed forces is en route to one of our outlying solar power conversion plants. Okay. All other Mirage operated facilities in the region rely on this plant for their energy needs and will go offline if Crest's attack succeeds. Uh oh. Total loss of power at any of these facilities, even for a brief amount of time, would leave them vulnerable to subsequent attacks and render years of research worthless. Oh no. We must avoid this eventuality at all costs. Take a position at the plant and prevent its destruction. Credits will be deducted from your reward to cover any damage repair costs. Wow. So you expect me to do it perfect. That's kind of a an incredible pain in the ass, to be perfectly honest. So I'm assuming I'm going to be fighting flying fuckers here, and I'm assuming that that is going to turn into a big dumb nightmare. Yep. So we're going to let our exceed orbit here take care of this. Damn. Is it just going to be flyers here? Because this is going to become very annoying if it is. Oh, of course not. Got ground units to deal with too. Great. Come on, hit the damn thing. I might want to switch out for one of my old faithful machine guns here, to be perfectly honest. All right, we've got another ground-based MT. That one's dead. Okay, so we haven't destroyed anything yet, and I think they were saying that uh, they'll deduct money if we destroy anything, but it's yet to be seen if that is uh, going to be the case or not here. Uh-oh. Another ground-based one? No, we do not. It's just this flyer for now. Aircraft! Damn you! The response on the back bit is very bad. Um, wow, how did you survive? The response on the back bit is very bad. Enemy targets detected inside. Inside. I'm releasing the gate lock. Please head in. Okay, that's fine. I bet this will be where we lose our money. Oops. <laughs> Randomly firing one of my howitzer rounds. Alright, let's see. We've got a room over here to the left with somebody in it from the looks of it. Come on, get in there. I'm not going in there. And of course I destroyed something. Son of a bitch. Not happy about this fire situation. Hashtag fire. Fuck me. Stop shooting me. Hashtag fire festival. Alright. Hopefully we do this one alright. There we go. There's that one. These hallways would be good for howitzers, to be perfectly honest. Alright, so I'm assuming I have to destroy everything in here. the way we came. This isn't too bad of a layout. We can deal with this. At least there isn't fucking fire in this one. Alright, it looks like this door leads nowhere. Oh, shit! Well, that was brutal. Oh, it's the same side we were just on. Let's see. And there's a dead end here? Shit, there's a dead end here. I've also taken quite a bit of damage, unfortunately. So, um, are they going to charge me for the fire? Because, uh, you know, just like the song says, we didn't start the fire. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep heading back the way we came. 
I feel like this is going okay. One thing has been destroyed so far. Um, which is probably pretty good. Oh, okay. Looks like this is going to be a big open room here. It looks like our exceed orbits are back to function. And I've already destroyed something. God damn it. That might not have gone well. Come on, throw an AC at me. I want to fight a fucking AC. Howitzer in a laser setup. Or howitzer in a chain gun setup, honestly. One way or the other, it'll be fun. It doesn't fucking matter. There we go. That looks like we destroyed... Damn it. I think we destroyed a few more things in here, unfortunately. The door's blowing open. is kind of neat. Alright, our heat's going down. Luckily, I don't think we ever got to a, a heat point where we would actually uh, receive damage, but... Okay, there's that one down. Are you the last one? might be. Nope, you are not. This is a hell of a mission. And I've hurt myself with my own howitzer? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is this? Are they going to make me chase these guys down? And I've taken an absolute shit ton of damage here, you guys. Look at this. This is actually fairly poor for us. Oh, he was the last one. Okay, cool. That one could have gone very poorly for us. Hopefully we'll come out of that one positive. I don't think too much shit got destroyed. But that was a hell of a mission, though. That was a really long mission, actually. AC repair, special deduction. Four things got destroyed. Damn it. Uh, the AC repair was by far the biggest bill, though. I think I'm still at 4 million or 400,000 credits or something. Right, still rank D, and I didn't get anything for it. So we'll create a second save just for the fuck of it. If Thunder ever has a chance to get back to us, I'll ask him about what's going on specifically with all of that. There we go. I know we only have 408,000 credits. That's not too bad. I'm not worried about money, especially with the fact that we have a whole nother arena uh, to go through here. All right, back to lab development. Let's protect part transport. What do we got here? Raven, the situation in our main air transport hub, Vargas Airport, is deteriorating rapidly. Okay. Immediate intervention is requested. Okay. Due to the facility's importance to our ah, ongoing operations, a well-defended security perimeter is in place. However, repeated attacks during recent weeks have taken their toll. The voice acting is a lot better than previous AC games. The rate at which security elements are being destroyed far outpaces our ability to replace them. Maintaining an effective perimeter around the airport has Hang become on. extremely difficult. <sighs> it feels really good. In an effort oh. to counter this problem and reinforce our position, we've resorted to employing a there we go. as added security during key transport operations. Okay. To this end, we'd like you to protect one of our transports en route to the airport for a scheduled refueling stop. The shipment of newly developed AC parts it carries must not be intercepted. I bet you will get one of those. Oh look, we've got 12,000 to hire out a consort. Alright, we've got that guy who's really good. We've got that guy who- Look at those fucking chain guns that's so fucking hot, you guys. Look at that. Freedom is all machine guns. And then we've got Break Shot, who is a missile-based AC. We're actually going to hire this guy, uh, because I want to use missiles against those... Uh, the countless flyers, I assume, we're going to be dealing with here. This is Alpha Leader. Target area in sight. Uh-oh. Remember... 
The transport takes priority. Fire at your discretion. I'm gonna fuck y'all up. Roger. 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 Okay. Actually got four people for that scene. All these fucking missiles going after him. There we go. What else do we got? I think we took care of all those guys. It takes a couple shots from this to actually hit those guys, but we, we seem to be doing all right with uh, the guys we have. Just look at exceed orbit. It's actually going just fine. Okay. Uh oh. Whoever it was that dumped all of that crap into the... There we go, there's a good hit. It's always like the second or third hit after they've stopped uh, changing direction that we end up getting the, uh, the effective on target. Because it takes the arm a second to catch up. This is Sky Guy. What I probably yeah. should do... Let's keep this short. Oh, excuse me. What I probably should do is uh, like wait a couple seconds before firing. Like we'll see if that can uh, help here. 1,001, 1,002. All right, that's a hit. 1,001, 1,002. Yeah, okay. So we count down about two seconds and then take the shot and we should be fine. Damn it. Got him. Uh oh. What? Where? I mean, it's gonna be. Oh, ground units now. Suddenly. You dead? Yeah, you are. At least they seem to be going down okay. Oh, hey, one of them went. Actually, they've been doing some good hiding there. Good job. At least we're not dealing with uh, liars anymore. There's that one down. We've got one left. They're really throwing a lot at this uh, at these AC parts. Oops! Come on. I'm having so much trouble hitting this thing that keeps running into a fucking wall. Okay. Come on. Damn it. Okay, that was bad. Um, I took a few hits there, but we should be good from now on. Switch over to exceed orbit and just fire at the cyclic. Okay, what's next? Where's your friends? Where's the enemy? Coming from the other side and look like it. I am a turret. There are many like me, but I am a turret. I don't know. Being a dumbass. Hey, look, we did it. Hooray. Thanks, Raven. All these fucking vehicles that they have in these games are like so unwieldy and unaerodynamic. There it is flying off. We did our job. Sweet! That went pretty good. What do you guys think? I think that one went pretty good. Maybe we'll get a part. Got a C rank and we actually made a little money. That's nice. We did get a little deduction, though, probably from a little damage sustained. Um, but I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. Yeah, right arm part, MWG DKP-90. A new machine gun. I'm interested in the machine gun more than the fucking male. <laughs> Wait, it's not a machine gun. It fires dual energy rounds. That's kind of cool, actually. 305. So that's... 610 versus 800. 
and it has 90 rounds. The range is a lot better. Range is a lot better. I think we'll stick with this right now. We might try that out later at some point. All right, I got mail, which I'm assuming my rank went up? Oh, part reward. Congratulations on your new rank, Raven. Yep, your performance reflects well on your operation and will be rewarded. A new product has been made available in the shop. It's the MWGG 100 left arm part. Cool. Let's go take a look at that. So let's switch back over to Frosty here. Let's go to the shop and look at some left arm parts. It is this thing. It is a napalm rocket launcher. So I don't think it'll actually target, unfortunately. But the fact that it's napalm is really good. Because we're getting a lot of like we're getting a lot of left hand weapons that are that are based on heat. Um, and that's very good. Because uh, heat stuff is really good for fighting ACs because you just basically burn them out and then use your primary to wither them down while they're dealing with the fire. Look at that leg part, that's so fucking cool! And the arm parts, holy shit, that thing looks crazy! That doesn't even look like an AC! Alright, prominence. Unable to swim, this pilot equips his AC with hover leg parts to avoid any and all contact with water. No other pilot is, is as adept in the use of hover legs as prominence. His fear of water has had a beneficial side effect. Wow. See, is there any place with water I can take you? Not really. Damn it. We'll go to Wasteland. Why not? All right. Here we go. Yeah. Assume you're going to be flying at me here. Yep. Kind of having trouble there, bro. You were the first guy in C rank? Wow. You were, uh, not very good at your job. Alright, next fight. Thirty-three thousand credits acquired. This is why we're not worried about losing money in the missions. Whew, okay. Oh, look at that cool uh, sniper rifle hybrid thing. That thing looks badass. And whatever that is in in his right hand, I think it's also a sniper rifle. That thing also looks fucking badass. Wow, holy shit. We are running into some really cool stuff. And that back weapon, what is that? What is all this cool shit? And look at those shoulder parts. I'm freaking out. <laughs> okay, Solo. Whew. After being betrayed by a raven who he thought was a friend, Solo decided it was time to strike out on his own. He no longer accepts missions that require him to work alongside others, and now operates operates an AC more conductive to solitary combat. Looks like he's got a ton of sniper rifle shit equipped on him. We'll go to the city, why not? Why not? Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Right, where are you going? Looks like we're playing cat and mouse around this thing. Okay. Well, you probably would have wished you had a friend by the end of this fight because uh, look at what just happened to you. Where are you? You're so fast. Stop it. Where are you at? Oh, wow. He flew out of the level or burnt to death. I didn't catch it. I'll watch a replay. I want to see what happened to him. If he burnt up, that'd be cool, because that'd mean he burnt up in midair from the, the napalm howitzer I had equipped there. That thing is perfect for the arena, you guys. So here he is. Got a small missile, a sniper rifle. Oh, that thing on his back is a laser cannon. That target reticle is pretty cool. Um, probably never going to get a look at it, though, just because... Uh, oh, yeah, he straight up burnt to death. Look at this. 
Five, four, three, two, one, and dead. Good job, you dead, son. You died. It's a good track. Good mission, or good music. All right, porcupine. This lightweight AC designs suits the pilot to a T, providing him with the speed he needs in order to execute close-in attacks with his favorite weapon, the blade. Oh, look, he's got a dual-arm blade weapon, or a dual-blade weapon arm, and two big-ass machine guns on his back. That's actually a really cool setup. Um, when unable to close on an opponent, the dual chain guns are brought to bear. So it looks like he'll spend a little bit of time trying to get to me, and then he'll start shooting at me with his machine gun while he burns up. Feels appropriate. Feels like a good way to fight here. All right, come on in. You know you want to use those blades of yours, so I can just kind of bounce backwards here and let you just kind of run into my... Oh, oh he's already dead. Wow. Well, you had a good strategy and you stuck to it, but unfortunately for you, it just wasn't going to be able to beat my superior piloting because I am the best. I know that's a little facetious. You can suck it. I'm the best. Me. <laughs> oh, man, I need to go see a masseuse. 38,000 credits acquired. Now we get to fight Iron Man from the Marvel Universe. It looks a little more like War Machine Go, though. Appropriately named, Iron Man normally gives his opponents a chance to get in a few hits before retaliating. He does this to give them the impression that they've gained the upper hand, when in fact nothing could be further from the truth. See, that would normally make sense, except um, I'm going to burn you down with my bullets and my hippity hops. My hippity hop hop, hippity hops. Start off on the other side of the thing. Yep. So we're gonna come flying around this corner and exceed orbit. I give a shit about your missiles, bro. Although, oh shit! Those huge missiles cause problems. Wow! I lost 80% of my health in an instant. That was crazy. You're dead though, dude. You know. So, y yeah. Suck it. I don't know. I'm being an idiot. I know I'm being an idiot. You can all shut up! <laughs> Alright. Shatter, G, and Karam. Or Karum. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't care. Shatter. His motivation for joining the Raven Order is to exact revenge on the one responsible for slaughtering his family all those years ago. The need to see that justice is served supersedes all else. Given his steady progress, Zero's days seem numbered. So there's some asshole named Zero further up the chain, I'm betting, um, that this guy's trying to kill. Uh, too bad for him. Uh, he's not going to make it past me. Sorry, he'll never get your revenge. And I will not get your revenge in your place. I'm just going to kill him. There's going to be no benefit to it. Doop -doop. Jesus. Nice bazooka shots. Wow, I actually haven't even been able to get a bead on his ass yet. He's actually doing a fair amount. Wow. Maybe you will get your revenge, buddy. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, man, that was a close one. The fact that he was able to hit me so consistently with that bazooka was crazy. Uh, good on you, buddy. You made that interesting. The same cannot be said of many of your uh, peers. It's good. I feel like they've really they really hit a, a stride with balancing the fights in these games. Because uh, some of them, if if you're not using the 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 stuff I'm doing, is just going to be a fucking nightmare. And obviously, I'm having some issues with a couple of the other ones. 
Okay, G. G's preferred combat style can be best described as in your face. He fears no raven, and this fact becomes readily apparent from the very moment you enter the arena to face him. His matches against Iron Man are always a hit with the crowd. I bet that's actually a really interesting fight. Uh, where do I want to take you? Um, I want to be able to move around a bit. So I'm actually interested in fighting you in the Limestone Cave. Which is a really cool arena, especially since you start on these weird struts, these weird pipes up in the air. Shit, well, I put myself at a disadvantage there. As long as I don't get hit by his uh, arm weapons, we should be okay, though. Oh, he's dead already. Never mind. We didn't have a problem. That was ridiculous. See, that's what I'm talking about. If I was a little slower, his uh, his arm cannons would have uh, cost me problem. Big problem. Ow. Fucking back. Oh, I gotta get a proper desk for these streams at some point. I've got one upstairs, but the internet connection is shit, so I don't stream from up there. Drop more frames than... I don't know. All right, rank C1, Karim. According to fellow pilots, Karim should not be among the living. He has escaped certain death more times than anyone can recall and has never offered an explanation for his for this odd phenomenon. <laughs> Lady Luck surely watches over this pilot. All right, let's fight him. Looks like a flame uh, rifle, which will be a problem. That arm setup looks cool. I wonder what those arms are. All right, but it looks like a flame rifle, extra shielding. This guy might be a problem. Uh, where haven't we gone in a while? Tropical forest, why not? I'll never see you through the trees, but my bullets will hit their mark. Because I'm the best. I'm right home, and nobody got a better bring me down. Come on. Okay. So he might not be among the living after I light him on fire here. The fact that he has a... Uh, a flame rifle means that he's trying for some of the same, uh, same strats as me. Uh, but his back pieces means that he's more versatile. Uh, but you only got to be good enough at one thing to really win in the arena. And in my case, my ability to uh, overwhelm with heat and machine guns. Where are you at? Okay, you're good. That was a decent fight. Just running around pretty good there. No replay. That was a good fight, though. He got in a couple really good hits. He got his flame stuff working on me, that's for sure. Then again, I have a feeling my stuff overheats pretty quickly, so... Um, okay, Smug Wendy, now firmly established in the arena, he has earned the respect of those who once had their doubts. From here on, there can be no mistakes. Any hesitation whatsoever is guaranteed to have fatal consequences. For me? I'm, I'm totally fine. Yo, I have new mail. Scratch my nose. Let's see. Global Cortex, Karam, and Shatter. What does Shatter have to say? The word on the street is that you've had a good run of it lately. Well, that ends now. My grudge with Zero isn't settled yet, and no one is getting past me before I've had a shot at him. Um, that, that, that didn't happen the way you thought it was going to happen, bro. All right, and Karam, who I just beat. Your reputation as a skilled mission specialist precedes you, but don't let it get to your head. Here in the arena, you're nothing but a second-rate pilot. I proved that. I proved differently. It would be my pleasure to show you exactly what I mean. I'll be waiting. Yeah, you're 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 already um, old news, you fucking idiot. <laughs> All right, congratulations on reaching the arena's C ranks, Raven. We've prepared a reward in recognition of this accomplishment. Please accept. Please check your garage to receive the CWM BM61 AC back part. CWM BM60. Let's go take a look at that, shall we? CWM BM60. CWM BM61 cluster bombs. I think this is another like rocket weapon, but that's interesting. Um, I'm never gonna use it, but it's interesting. Let's see. 
Anything new become available in the shop? Not really. I feel like that's supposed to be an improved version of what I have, but the reaction speed is so poor. Those leg parts look cool, especially with the damn stuff. All right, I want to take a look at that light machine gun here. Yeah, that is not the, the dual back piece machine gun those other guys were using. I'm actually really interested in, uh, to see uh, what's up with those there. All right, let's switch back over to Baconator and do some more missions, shall we? Quick save and a haircut. I <laughs> get it. Do you get it? Did you get it? There we go. If we fucked up that mission, who cares? the one, like, three missions back now. Two missions back. It don't matter. Right, let's see. What else you guys got to offer me? Oh, back to Laird. Recapture Sector 513 5,000 credits. So you guys are probably going to be paying me an extra bonus here. Raven, we'd like your assistance in reestablishing Crest's control over Sector 513. You will accompany Aren't you Kisaragi? Work with them to eliminate any Mirage forces encountered. Hmm. Enemy of my enemy, huh? Corporate power in the sector at the moment, but only because they seized control while our attention was focused on other matters. Since or I could be wrong, and I could be working for the people who wants to. In the region, hmm. We're interested in reclaiming our hold on 513, so as to preserve an undivided front. Hmm. Given the tight confines in the area of operation. The number of units involved, and the fact that Mirage is using ECM pulses to disrupt radar functions. Uh oh. Expect to have your hands full. So this might be a pain the in the ass. The measures that Mirage has employed may make it difficult to discern friend from foe. Choose your targets with care. So it looks like I have to kill the red ones and leave the green ones alive. Huh. That will be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. Operation code flag signaling. I should take a look at this thing before I actually... Yep, you're red. Are you red or green? You're red. That's green. No, that's not green. Oh, I shot a green one. Damn it. Okay, this is kind of neat. It also helps that the red ones are the ones shooting at me. <laughs> There's another friend. Those are all green. That's an MT. I'm going to assume that all MTs are hostile. Red or green. You're red. Or green, excuse me. So we gotta head this way. Oh boy, that audio is kind of annoying, huh? Right, there's another red. Whoops. He's here. That one. Oh, that was fast and easy. Okay. I bet we'll get paid based on how many people survived. That'll be cool. Because I don't think I personally destroyed any of the uh, green targets. I know I shot one of them once. Whew. Excuse me. But uh, I think we'll be all right. Special edition 8K. That's not terrible. Allied tanks that survived. Yep. And I got our A rank. Not bad. And I did it fast, so maybe we'll get a part out of that. It's like getting a cool little present every time. Well, we didn't get a part. New parts available, though. We're pleased to inform you that some of the purchase restriction restrictions set in place in the shop have been lifted. New parts are now available for purchase. Yes! This is what I wanted! I want to fuck around in the shop. Forever. Alright, we've got new head parts. Long range radar with all sensors. And lightweight with balanced specs. Uh, I might be interested in this one here. The armor points and defensive points are going to be something to pay attention to. No new core parts. Alright, here we go. We've got arms now. General purpose crest model. Reaction speed on all of those are shit. That one's a little better, but it's still not up to snuff with this part that I've had equipped since the beginning of Armored Core 3. That is so fucking cool! 
I can't even tell if that's reverse joint or not. I think it is. But look at how badass that leg looks. Emphasis on mobility. We're going to buy that. Because that thing looks like it could be useful to us. All right, I think that wasn't, I think that was a, I think that was a, a bipedal AC. All right, mobile mid-load capacity model. They threw a bunch of legs at us. Look at the fucking like Ronin ass armor plating on that shit. That's so cool. Oh yeah, we got a heavy load quad. We may switch to that at some point. That's so cool. All right, we've got a bunch of parts that, I think those are remixes on parts from other games, to be honest. I feel like I own a lot of these already. This one I know is new. Okay, what about boosters? Oh shit, there's a ton of new boosters now too. It's this one with enhanced boost power. Oh wow, it's just straight up a, ve a better version of that. And that thing is heavy as fuck, but it looks like it's really good, so we'll buy that. Yes, I know we're pretty low on cash, actually. New stuff. Got another sideway. Lengthway. Nope. So, we're stuck with the same. Look at the weight on that, but holy shit! That is a crazy fucking generator. Look at that! Look at the weight! We're gonna buy it. It's probably a waste of money right now. We got a new... Is that new? I don't know if that's new or not, you guys. I don't know if any of these are new. I think that's new. I don't recognize the shape. Alright, a bunch of new inside parts. Radar. Radar duping. Radar duping. Seen pods. Decoys. Generator disruption. Generator disruption rockets. That sounds crazy. Rocket storage. Let's lock on. Increase napalm rocket storage. Rockets that set targets on fire. These are cool. I'm not going to buy any of them, but they're cool. All right, we got new extensions. Multi-directional auxiliary booster. That's badass. Provides mid-air hovering capability. That's fucking cool. These are cool as shit. All right, we've seen those before. Enhanced missile intercept system. Added shielding, side shield, no usage drain, and a modified version of that. That's cool. All right, let's look. We got new back units, I bet. Oh, speaking of back, I got pack paint. Okay, there's a remix on this with more ammo. Weighs more. Interesting. Never seen that before. Two-shot multi... Warhead missile launcher? That thing's really light for... That doesn't seem like that would be good at all. Burst missile, missile, increased storage, interesting. There's a new rocket launcher I've never seen before. 45 rounds, that's badass. Look at that thing. Lightweight spread shotgun. Long range laser cannon. That thing looks really damaging. All right, what else do we got? Noise counter equipped radar model. Interesting. Long range search model. A modified version of the vertical missile launcher with added ammo. Probably added weight. This is new. Two independent weapon pods. That's badass. Okay, so there's all the new back parts. Here's where here's here's what I want to find. Rapid fire rifle. That thing looks fucking cool and it does a lot of damage. That thing's actually badass. All right, there's a rapid-fire sniper rifle. I saw that equipped on the left arm before. I thought maybe it was equipped on the right arm. I don't know. Lightweight machine gun. High attack power machine gun. I'm interested in this. And here's the one that everybody's saying is unbelievably good. So we're going to buy that one, too. Little low on. Whoa! Mid range bazooka. That thing looks cool as fuck. Oh, this is awesome, you guys. Balance specification spread shot bazooka. That's crazy. So it's basically a bazooka shotgun. Energy based shotgun with added ammo. Arm mounted spread howitzer. That's interesting that that little thing's a howitzer. 
Alright, what else do we got? A different high attack power pulse rifle. The low weight on those makes them almost worth it. Alright, lightweight laser rifle. I thought I had a version of that. Did I sell it? Maybe I did. High power plasma rifle. It's a even heavier shooting or even heavier hitting version of the one I liked from the previous game but never used. That looks so fucking cool. What is that? Reduced usage drain plasma rifle. I like that. It might not be worth 110,000 though. Lethal short range pairing blade. Okay, those are fucking cool. Oh look, I can just buy the moonlight now. That's crazy. Uh, halberd long range laser blade. Medium damage left arm laser rifle. Sniper rifle with emphasis on attack. Close range machine gun! Yes! <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for this entire fucking game. Fuck heat, dual machine guns, motherfuckers. <laughs> Lightweight left arm pulse rifle. So except for the fact that that uses energy, that's an excellent little weapon there. Left arm laser rifle, that does a ton of damage. That'd probably be great for missions, actually. We can switch out the howitzer for that, um, even though it weighs a lot more. Hisaragi design masterpiece. So except for the fact that it has a massive usage drain, it adds a ton of defense. Enhanced cooling energy shield, left arm shield wall, and optional parts. There's optional parts here, but we don't need any of these. Oh boy, you guys, I am so ready to fuck around with all of this stuff. Oh boy. All right, fuck you, I have a machine gun somewhere I need to equip. Where is it? There it is. Oh, oh, I've got the biggest smile on my face, right? I mean, you, you guys can see it. I'm so hard right now. That thing looks cool, but it's shit compared to this in terms of armor points and everything. Is that anything with over a thousand? No, I've got the heaviest head equipped. All right, arms I'm not worried about. Where were those legs? There's those legs. Their mobility is really good and their armor points are a little higher. There's actually probably a superior uh, leg bit here. And I might actually be interested in switching to these. The problem is I need to get rid of 300 weight somewhere. So where can we do that? Probably nowhere. Wow, that has better charge drain despite weighing more. That's crazy. <laughs> Should we put in our <laughs> 1500 weight unit generator? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That thing is insane. Like, look at the difference. 42 and 22 versus 52 and 22. For our purposes, it's not that big of an improvement, but like, wow, in general, that thing is badass. All right, we could get rid of about 100 weight there. Which we don't really use that much in the way of energy, so that might actually be worth it. That thing weighs 488. We don't need that anymore, so we can actually unequip that. I think we might actually be able to equip those to equip those better legs at this point. Although, all right, so what's the attack power on this? 140 versus 124. The fire rate, or the reload time is four versus five. So this thing fires faster and does a little bit less damage. This thing fires slower and does a little bit more damage. I'm interested in trying this now, to be perfectly honest. So what are we at? We're at 4840. We can equip those new legs. All right. So better AP, slightly worse defense. Actually, this is a pretty good trade-off, um, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, and we still have a little extra weight. We might actually be able to re-equip our... Yeah, we can do that. Just getting rid of the uh, the radar on our shoulder, which had the stealth sensor, um, is enough to keep us right there. Because look, now we're just at uh, five weight units under. What's the spec on this? It's fair. Apparently, it's not very good. <laughs> I keep making worse ACs that are built specific in the arena. I really want to try this fucking thing out, though.
So let's fight Karam again. Why not? He was a decent fight. I want to see. I want to see how the dual machine gun setup works. If it doesn't work very well, we can go back to a machine gun heat hybrid. But I have a feeling this is going to be really, really good. Look at that. Uh, it doesn't kill them as fast, but it's more consistent. So I'm interested in, in working with that loadout for a while there. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. Um, I like all these new parts we just spent every last dime we had on. Um, let's put some on the Baconator and then do a mission or two, shall we? God, those fucking parts. Oh, it feels so good. There. What are we going to put on you? We're going to get rid of that fucking howitzer. All right, we can't equip a machine gun. I was interested in that laser rifle. Um, dual laser rifles there uh, might be useful. Um, all right, that puts us over by quite a bit, though. Hmm. So I wonder about switching out our right arm for something else. 683. Maybe switching out for one of the machines? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about going back to machine guns here, uh, considering we've got the machine gun on our shoulder. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What about this one? This one's got a lot less weight. Actually, uh, attack power 305, but it fires two shots at once. So I'm wondering if it's 305 per shot. And we've only got 45 shots at that point. Actually, no, let's not. Let's stick with that. That seems to be the best overall for what we've been trying to do here. Uh, can we equip the machine gun? No, the machine gun puts us over by uh, 101. Okay, so it looks like we're stuck with the howitzer there. Um, I didn't see a better shoulder-mounted machine gun. I don't think we got one um, in the latest buying spree we went on. So I think we're actually... I wouldn't use the word stuck because that sounds like I'm not happy. We're not stuck. 148... Looking to see if I can't get better AP. Oh, wow, we can equip the uh, the general head here. Let's see. No biosensor, no radar function, though. Uh. But we have a radar sense uh, thing from our OP intensify. So the only thing we're going to be missing out on is the biosensor. Uh, but I want the fucking biosensor. All right, this thing weighs a lot less. Doesn't have any radar function. All right, this thing weighs more and is better overall from the looks of it. So we'll go with that for now. Wait, uh, biosensor. Biosensor provided. Okay, yeah, this is a good head. We've got good head, you guys. Ha, 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 ha. Get it? That one's good too, but it puts us overweight. That's what we have. We have Sky Eye equipped. No biosensor there. Okay, so that new head uh, is going to work good. Well, not good. Going to work well for Baconator here. Still got OP Intensify. Still have all of our weapons equipped. Okay, I think I think we can roll with this for a while. Maybe at some point we'll switch to those uh, heavier legs that got unlocked. I don't think I bought them, though. <sighs> Feels good to stretch. All right, let's save and do a few missions here. The fact that we're progressing through the ranks so quickly is uh, kind of promising, but also kind of worrying because I don't want to—I don't want to, you know, blow through this game really fast. Um, I want to spend a fair amount of time with it because so far it's the best armored core I've played, uh, just hands down. I think. Um, I'm really enjoying and happy with it. All right, power plant emergency. So back to that power plant we were in before. Activate fire suppression system. 
Employees at one of our main power plants have just transmitted an emergency distress signal. All right. They are requesting immediate assistance. Okay. According to their report, a fire has broken out in the facility, and the automatic fire suppression system isn't responding. If the fire reaches the power condensers, the plant will be leveled. Uh oh. We'd like you to enter the facility and manually activate the fire suppression system. This is the only way to stop the fire from spreading. Okay, this seems easy enough. Sabotage is suspected. All right, so fly through here really quick, shoot anybody we run into, and activate the fire suppression systems. So we can do that. <laughs> Operation code welcome rain. All right, let's see. All right, it looks like we have four targets here. Raven, the security system is malfunctioning. It's not that door. It's not that door. It's this door here. Okay. Don't waste too much time. Gotta take the elevator down. As I keep firing my howitzer in my face. Alright, you died real quick. Yeah, I'm working on it. Shut up. Kinda wish I had an overboost here, to be perfectly honest. Probably be helpful. For this spot right here. Right, you're right in front of the door. One. Oh, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Music's pretty alright here. Alright, so there's actually fire down here. So it's smoking. Alright, we've activated the thing first. Now we can deal with this guy. Whew. Took some damage from that fire. No, open that. There we go. Here we go. All right, we're doing pretty good. Yay, we're saving lives while simultaneously taking lives of saboteurs. All right, so let's see what's down here. I'm going to check over here to the left first. There's actually a lot going on in this general area over here. Alright, I can't even open that up, so that's kind of a waste. It's 213 degrees Celsius in here. That smoke is running hot. Whoops. Well, I didn't mean to destroy that. It doesn't look like there's anybody in here, so I'm just taking damage from the heat at this point. But we're out now, so our damage should go down. Yep, you seem to be good. All right, so there's that one and the one down at the bottom of this thing. Wonder if we'll run into an AC here. That'd be cool. We haven't fought any ACs in the actual missions yet. We did it. All right, let's get out of this fucking fire. Yay! We saved the day. We are the best. And we are the best. Uh-oh. Raven, go check it out. Go check out the security breach. Okay. Okay, here we go to an elevator. Yeah, we're going to fight a, a AC here, I bet. Good thing we've got all solid weapons in the EO core here. Oh wow, they blew up the thing in the middle here. That's not good. Wait! This is the big white boys he was telling me about. Oh god! We've got to kill us some whites! Oh, you're causing a ton of damage, actually, to me. You're causing a ton of damage. In Jesus! That was fast. You died. We made it. Thank you, Raven. That was, uh... Target not as intimidating as I expected it to be, to be perfectly honest. But we did it. Woo! Let's jump for happy. Objective 
Oh, I can't jump anymore. Damn you. I like doing my stupid little hippity hops. <laughs> hey, we did all right. Special edition for something. I don't know what. I should have looked at it, but I didn't notice it in time because I'm an idiot. All right. New mail. Probably about that thing we found. Sarah Cross. Thank you, Raven. Greetings, Raven. My name is Sarah Cross. I'm an employee with the Artificial Intelligence Office. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for your help at the power plant earlier. You're welcome. The unit you encountered appears similar to those involved in attacks on facili uh, facilities located near the Silent Line. My group is analyzing the wreckage as we speak. Conducting our research is becoming more and more difficult as the rivalries between corporations intensifies. There doesn't seem to be an end in sight. There never is. Sometimes I think it would have been better if we had stayed below ground and let the controller manage things. You mean that thing that actively tried to kill every single person? Uh, towards the end of the game there? Okay. Uh, from Emma Sears. Raven. These attacks by unknown units are happening with increasing frequency. I'm glad to see you made it back safely. Sadly, many of our other pilots haven't been as fortunate. We've lost quite a few during recent assignments. By the way, I heard that you were in contact with the scientists from the AI office. Let me give you some background on the organization and get you up to speed. The AI office consists mainly of researchers, scientists, and engineers. It's basically a think tank whose goal is to develop AI protocols for use in a variety of equipment. Interesting. Okay. Oops, no, I did want to read that. I hit the wrong button. All right, notification from Foreman. I wanted to take a moment to let you know that my initiation exam... Oh, Foreman, this is uh, uh, that uh, MT pilot who's now an AC. Uh, and I'm now registered as a Raven. Upgrading from an MT to an AC is everything I thought it would be and more. Don't hesitate to call on me if the need arises. Gotcha. Are you going to betray me like that one chick in the last thing I had to do there? All right, let's save and do another mission, and I think we might close out uh, today's stream with the next mission. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Why are you having problems? There we go. Cool. Cool. Okay. Okay, everything, everything's good. I was worried we were going to have saving issues there for a second. All right, nature preserve or lab development. What's at lab development? Destroy cargo transport. Okay, we can do that. It's high speed, though. That might be a problem. Quester Crest. Raven, we've just confirmed reports that Mirage has successfully integrated a newly developed weapons technology with their high speed cargo transport. Oh shit. The transport must be destroyed. Okay. Mirage operates the transport in a complex of privately excavated tunnels just beneath the planet's surface. So we're dealing with Tesla here, we're dealing with Elon Musk. This setup makes it extremely difficult for us to stay abreast of new developments and keep them in check. All previous attempts to destroy the transport failed miserably. <laughs> now that modifications have been made, the task should prove even more difficult. Uh-oh. Our ability to I will have no issues with this, I promise all of you in the stream right now. <laughs> Do not disappoint us. Like I might have to be boosting the entire time, but between the howitzer and my back-mounted chain gun, there should be no issues. Oh hey, I can bring a consort. I can bring Advent or Rodeo. Rodeo's fast. Actually, uh, Rodeo is going to be the best one for this. Warhead's got a really cool right arm weapon. Look at that. That looks like a Famas. And is that a slug gun in the left hand? It's something like that. That's actually a really cool left right arm setup. Um, but Rodeo is going to be able to handle this a lot better with the speed there. So we're bringing Rodeo along. All right, let's do it. I'm assuming this is going to be a chase after the thing while firing at the cyclic type mission. Uh, so, no exceed orbit. Oh, it's not moving that fast. I thought this was high speed. Well, the thing is, uh, oh, fuck you. The thing is much faster than me, actually. Um, I'm actually having problems here. Oh, shit. It's also taking my machine gun hits like it's fucking nothing. Oh, there we go. So there's that. My problem now is I'm running out of... Oh, God. 
This is really bad, actually. Oh, wow. We might actually have to uh, build a custom AC to try and do this damn mission. Because look at that. It killed our, it killed our escort. And at this point, I'm almost completely out of uh, solid shell ammunition. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to cut it for this mission. Look at, look at this. Come back, you son of a bitch. I'm actually, I was hitting it. Not anymore, though. Yep, I knew it. Okay, we're going to save scum that. We're going to um, rebuild up shitty salad. Um, and we're going to go for it. Oh, back pain is the worst. All right. So let's do a quick little save scum. I will ruin that mission. I have new mail. Mail is like, what the fuck? Pilot status and advancement notice. Oh, hey, two more of my friends got the thing. But it doesn't matter because none of this ever happened. We're using, um, nope, we don't want to save. We want to load. We are going to use King Crimson to rewind time. <laughs> I can't wait for that shit to happen in JoJo. Can't wait for the animated King Crimson bullshit. That'll be fun. All right. So there's a little King Crimson. Let's go to the garage and let's set up shitty salad here. All right. Oh. I'm going to go to leg parts here. And we need to switch over to a hover type for speed. I've got that one. 532, 681. Ooh, we might go with this super fast one here. 681 versus 633. What's the actual movement speed? See, they don't give you a speed. Movement ability is 633 versus 681. So I think this one is the fastest. Um, but this one can carry a thousand more. Oops, um, you're still overweight as hell. Um, so let's start by removing anything from your left. Um, equip a good machine gun in your right here. Because uh, that'll come in useful. Actually, hmm, maybe something heavier is in order. Let's do like that. Oh, the rockets would actually probably be useful for this too. Since it's not really boosting around all over the place. We might actually be able to get in a few good hits that way. Uh, we should switch out the actual core parts here first. I can go with a lightweight or we can go with a middleweight here. We'll go with the middleweight. Optional parts unequipped. We're going to have to worry about that later. Switch you out for that head there. All right. So now we've got a little more weight to work with here. Uh, maybe a, a left arm machine gun. Ooh, not back unit. I want arm unit L. Does that put me overweight? No, it does not. All right, so we can pelt this thing. When we can lock on, we can pelt it with machine guns. And when we're not locked on, we've got the heaviest rockets in the game to hit it with. Um, and we don't have to worry about boosting at this rate. Oh, wow, I'm under by one, one weight thing. All right, let's go back over to the optional parts and equip OP Intensify again. <laughs> Actually, I want to see what they say the stats on this thing are. Probably great. Yep, great. Shitty salad is great from Wendy's. Smug Wendy. <laughs> All right, so we'll save really quick and try that again. Hope y'all are having fun. I'm having fun doing this stream for sure. All right, save complete, and let's go. I don't recognize. United adjust. No, I don't recognize you. You're spam. Sorry about that. Oops, that's not what we want. We want destroy cargo transport. Woohoo! Let's go. And we just saw this, so we don't need to watch it again. Oops. <laughs> Mashing through. Oh, excuse me, mashing through. I hit cancel instead of. 
Accept mission. And let's bring along uh, Rodeo again. Rodeo got fucking destroyed in the last mission um, by that big-ass cannon on the back. That thing was uh, trouble, for sure. Oh, I got a voicemail from them. I wonder what's going on with that. The target is moving. Yep, we get it. Okay. Watch it, Raven. Okay, there we go. That thing's down already. All right, what do I destroy next here? Okay, apparently it's all of that. Did we do it? No, we didn't do it yet. <laughs> that dual machine gun stream is fucking amazing. Yeah! We did it! We the best! We do it! Cool! <laughs> that right hand machine gun ran out quick. That is clearly designed specifically for arena combat. <clears throat> Very interesting. All right, so I think that is going to conclude our stream, ladies and gents. Thank you all so much for coming out and hanging out with us. Um, I am Jeff, and I really appreciate it all the time uh, that you guys either on the stream or on the uh, video archive um, spent with me today. Um, if you liked what you saw, you should definitely uh, follow us here. Um, and if you want to watch it again or check out other streams that we've done, all of our streams are archived over on our YouTube channel, which you can get to from the link below. We also do full Let's Plays and like 108060 and funny one-off videos over there. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, you should subscribe over there as well. Um, to be keep up that 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 fuck me. To keep updated on uh, streams and whatnot, you should follow our Twitter. Also, there's a link below for that. Uh, that's where we update when we're going to be streaming, what we're going to be streaming, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, usually, we send out um, notifications well in advance of streams. Um, so yeah, once again, I want to thank everybody who came out today. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you next time.